Hello, this is Atara Zimnan from WHYY Young Journalist. I'm at the Reading Terminal Market in Philadelphia, a popular spot for food from around the region and around the world. Here, street performers make their living by serenading passers-by. Whether they are inside or out, these musicians share a love of music and outgoing personalities. The musicians' life stories are just as engaging as their music is. For Tony Hamilton, a former Air Force serviceman, music has been constantly present in his life from when his brothers played and his mother forced him to, and when he started playing in high school despite his being a delinquent in other areas. I learned my band instrument and became a delinquent for my other classes and got into a bunch of other instruments until they found out where I, where I was, uh, staying in the band room instead of going to, going to class. I, you know, I didn't give much thought to what I wanted to be when I was going to grow up. <laughs> I didn't think I was ever going to grow up. I didn't think I'd ever get out of high school. And somehow I got the idea in high school that you can make a great living as a musician. Although composition is difficult, Tony enjoys writing his own music. I do jazz arrangements of popular songs, which is composition. Yeah, that's not, uh, composition is a very challenging field. You gotta be very serious about it. You gotta spend a lot of time with it. It requires a lot of determination and creativity and stress and putting up with things that you wouldn't think you'd have to put up with and learning things that you wouldn't think you would otherwise have to learn. When contemplating his most memorable piano experience, an international snow festival immediately comes to mind. Um, we did performances on these statues that were made of ice. I was using a battery-powered keyboard. It was so cold that I think after about 20 or 30 minutes, the keyboard shut down. After traveling quite a bit, Tony finally settled at Reading Terminal Market. Tony likes playing in the market a lot and enjoys meeting and playing for all kinds of people. One day they called me up and said they needed a piano player. And that was about at least three years, three, maybe four years after I found out about this place. But when I'm actually playing though, it's nice to meet people. You meet people from all around Pennsylvania. And believe it or not, you meet a lot of people from different parts of the world. And so it's always, I guess the thing I like about that is always meeting different people. You never know who you're gonna meet, who you're gonna wind up playing for. Tony loves to play and practice outside of Reading Terminal as well. Well, I play anywhere that I can. I might I might shut myself up in my room and just be working on my music on one level or another, hour after hour, indefinitely. But I do um, pretty much put a lot of time into it. Mike, who will not reveal his last name, is a Philadelphia native struggling to get his music in the public eye. For Mike, however, music is more than just a form of entertainment. Uh, I just uh, like playing, you know, and um, it was a... Uh, uh, it's a good thing for the mind, you know. It, it lets off a lot of release, and I feel good, you know. I got up my own studio and all that. Got the big stuff. That was my only thing I wanted to do, to be a musician. And now I am. A striving musician, ain't that something? That's where a lot of people are, and then, you know. A lot of people are, and they, they let you have your little fun here, doing what you're doing, you know, playing and stuff like that. Some people like my music, but a lot of people seem to like they like my music, so it's all right. No. Every day, thousands of people come to the Reading Terminal Market to eat and shop. Along the way, they enjoy a healthy helping of these magnificent musicians. I'm Atara Gunnarin from WHYY Young Journalists.